going on, Charlie? Here. I'm Jean. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Multicasting today. With it, we're gonna do another corking today. Uncork it then. We're gonna do a rye guy episode today. We get to unball it first. Oh, I have to open this to thing. Cork it. I gotta figure out how it opens. Gonna do um, an uncorking today. We're gonna do a rye today. We're gonna do a Willet. We're we're gonna do a Willet. The Vanna White. Thing. Yeah. We're gonna do a Willet straight rye whiskey. It's four years old. This is the rare release. This is the Family Estate Edition, small batch rye. Uh, 56.0 is the ABV, so 112 Ooh. proof. This is uh, purported to be a blend of two mashes of the rye, of the wilt rye. Uh, one is 51% corn, nope, 51% rye, 34% corn. I'm gonna do mine first, because yes, you, okay. Yes, I noticed, and, 50, and I kept my mouth shut. And 50% malted barley, with the second blend, our second batch being uh, 74% rye, 11% corn, and again, 15% malted barley. How do you know all that? I drink whiskey and know things like Peter Dinklage does. What's so, the that? Yeah, 56.0. So, here's the thing about this. You know what, we'll get to that. Is it worth it? We'll talk about it. And is it worth it? Okay. Have okay. I, now, we haven't had this in two to three years, but at one point in time, this was my favorite rye. I feel like it had just rained and I took my shovel and I took a big scoop of dirt out. And then what I want to do, I'm going to go play in the dirt. You know how I know you're wrong, Gene? Because if it just rained, you'd be getting a scoop of mud. Not, a, I guess mud can be dirt. Wow. I guess it's a rectangle, square, square, it rectangle situation. It rained soft enough that I could get a scoop of dirt out of the earth. Whoa. How about that? Rye guy. What tone was that? That was my ooh, right? Yeah. Dang. There's, yeah, this is earth. Cotton candy, earth, clove, anise, kitchen spices. A little bit of lemon. Ah, you almost had it. Touch of leather. I think you said a little bit of leather, but you went lemon. I get your leather. I get your leather. A little bit of leather. Some oak in there. You almost got that on your nose, by the way. I noticed. How did you notice? I looked at you just as the liquid got just a Just to the precipice the for the rest of us. <laughs> it's like a festivus, but it's the precipice. There's a lot of rye, deep rye <laughs> yeah. up in here. Uh, yes, and not, not for nothing, love the bottle, love the logo, love that they have their crest on there. Big fan of green, love that it's a green crest. You do like green. Oh, heck yeah, I like green. <laughs> Hand aged. Nope, aged in hand-selected white oak barrels for four years, hand-bottled at cast strength. Touch of spearmint. And whoever does their, I love that it's all mylar colors too. Hmm. Okay. Caramel oak. It's like if caramel were a tree and you made a barrel, made a cask out of the wood from the caramel tree. I'm getting a perfect blend of caramel and oak. Okay. Um, I get lemony earth, maybe lemongrass. Yeah, I can see that uh, lemon. Citrus, bit of citrus spearmint note. And sage. Yep. Sage, good call. I'm getting a yeah. The, yeah, the earth is prevalent as it as it's warming up. Nope, as it's opening up, could be warming up too. I don't know. Maybe he don't like this. Oh, Mr. Miyagi style. Yeah. Well done. Pulling out the rare Miyagi style warm up for the rare release. I like your style. Mm. I'm having a go in. Have a go in. <sighs> wow. The pepper dance is the dance. Do the pepper. It's a unique pepper, though. That's not a normal pepper. It's like a peppercorn pepper. Yeah, it's a unique pepper. Get my chair blocked. Stay. I'm gonna stay. Mmm. You disrupted my peppers. By the candy, way. Candy, spearmint, lemon, leather, caramel, touch of chocolate. Mm. Dog coming up, shaking his little really tail. Um, yeah, I do get that leather that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Dark, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, spearmint on the back with mm -hmm. some lemon. Um, use a different pepper. It's a different kind of pepper, but delightful mm -hmm. and yummy and good enough. 
for me. It's like you just repeated everything I just said, minus the yummy part, because I don't think I say yummy a lot or ever. Well, you should say it. Try it. I just did. I said I don't think I say yummy a lot or ever. Uh, but I'm, I also said uh, peppercorn pepper. There's some butter on the finish. Some, a little bit of caramel butter, but it, like a burnt, very, very burnt caramel butter. This is a rye that I want you to know it's a rye. Um, I get a little bit of the malted barley, but I don't get a ton of the corn. You have that much corn and some of the blend, and you're, I'm gonna think it's gonna be sweet. Not always. I, I, was, I thought that this was gonna be sweeter than it is. Oh. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised it's not. I didn't want it to be over sweet. Brought out some grass. You know this is a rye. On the palate and on the nose, you know this is a rye. Yeah. Well, some call this a barely legal rye because it's got the 51% rye oh. on the mashes, but you know this is a rye. Yeah, you, you yeah. know. You, when you pick this up blind, you'd be like, it's a rye, rye. Well, I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. Around the world snap. <laughs> what that is. I'm gonna go around the block. That, uh, that didn't work very well. No. Round, round. A rind, a rind the a block. Rind. If you have a clever rye pun, <laughs> comment please. But it just brought some, with a drop of water, a little bit more grassy and more lemon. Drop of water. Smoothed everything out, softened everything up. The sugars are more cotton candy now, more of that sponge sugar. It's as soon as I say I don't get the, all the sweetness. The sweetness is becoming more prevalent. I feel like I am, I, like I'm smelling the inside of a paper bag. I'm glad I have my first pour then, and not the second pour as it turns out. I was gonna say I'm getting a lot of the notes from an all-spice cake. Hmm. Not well, I'm not saying like bag. the only thing that I'm getting is paper bag, but it's like, you know, like the inside that the cardboard, the earthiness. If you have panic attacks, you probably know what she's talking about, breathing in and out of the paper bag. But neither one of us has panic attacks. I haven't even seen a paper bag and I don't even know how long. They, when I used to have asthma uh -huh. attacks, they used to have me breathe in and out. Huh. You know, not for nothing, but I hear this asthma attacks a lot. People should start carrying like bats and if you're getting attacked, fight back. Yeah, you really should. You know, they should have classes about not it. Not for nothing. Take jujitsu. I don't know. Defend yourself, folks. What pepper. drop of water do on the palate there? The pepper got cranked. That unique pepper got cranked. Mmm. And brought in some creamy feel to the mouth. Little yeah. Swirling of the butters. It's. Mm. It's like they made a buttery, caramely, oaky pepper. I mean, you can get those distinct notes separately in a bunch of other whiskeys, but not blended so well as mm. this is. Yeah, they're all right there. Twenty-five percent. Those four. Things. Interesting. Yep. Mm-hmm. Score time. Hmm. Let's see, I, and not for nothing, but we've been having some fantastic uncorkings of late. Used to be no good uncorkings. Now, we're, we're, on a, we're on a good stretch here. I wanna guess, I'm gonna say you did 92. What did you do, Gene? No, not even close. 89. 89. 89, 91. See, I thought you really liked it. I do really you like it. Um, no, you're right. Scores right there. I thought you liked it more than that. Oh. I just like guessing what you do. Makes it a little interactive for me. Um, uh, I picked this up for $51. You picked this up for $51, folks. Well, I guess we'll answer the question first. Is it, Gene, is it worth $51? Yeah, I think it's worth $51, yeah. Okay, it's worth $51 easily. Easy. Not even close. Easy. Here's the weird thing about this ride, though. This right now, you normally find for about 140. In our market, it's ungodly affordable. Caskers has this for like 140. Really, same thing? Yes, exact same thing. 
Um, right now, this is the four year. The eight year of this goes for, hold on to your britches, $1,900. Nine, where does it say four year? Oh, it's spelled out four years. I was looking for the number four. Nineteen hundred dollars for the eight-year version of this. Dang! I've seen that on some aftermarket sites with another another thousand behind it. Hmm. To me, move to Kansas, buy this up. I see it all the time at our local watering hole, lo local liquor store. I don't. I I our normal liquor store. I don't. I didn't. It didn't catch my eye anyway. Um, and her defense, it's on the top shelf. Okay, I'm a little shorter than a lot of people. Not when you sit down. You're taller then. Yes, I am. Uh, but yes, this is absolutely affordable in our market. Pick this up. If you like rye, grab this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's got all the, the same bourbon notes of the caramels and the oaks. Um, all the rye notes, the anise, a little bit of clove. Uh, it's got the peppers there. Kitchen mm -hmm. spices, all spice cake. Yeah, this Good last stuff. this last sip, more caramels came out for me. As as it's sitting here and opening, mm -hmm. oh, it's getting it's getting better and better. And long time, I say long time. We've only been doing this for about nine months right now. And if you watch the show regularly, you know, dang it, did it again. Gotta let that open. Gotta let it sit. You man. know, we prefer the um, not uncorking. Not the neck pour. We prefer to have, have breathe for a while. Yeah. We yeah. do. We review it. We prefer to get the neck pour out of the way before we inter, before we do it for you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we understand a lot of folks want some uncorkings too. So let's do some uncorkings. We can always come back in a year or two or Lord knows we have so many whiskeys. We could, we could start off right now with one and, and we have a lot of whiskey. Hmm. Anyway. Probably not as much as some people. I agree with that. Anyway. Anyway. Anything to add about this whiskey, Gene? It's yummy. Yummy. Say it. I just Say said it. Again. Yum. Yummy. One more time. No. Come on. Nope. Be like Beetlejuice. One thing I'm good. Uh, you had me till be. Oh, like, I don't do peer pressure, but then you had me at Beetlejuice. That's a good salesman ship. Ship. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> don't look behind you. Don't look behind that Woo! Beetlejuice coming up. Uh, anyway, I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Just as thirsty as we are.